Morning. Morning too. Dad's over checking the combine. Grain cart's been ready. And 2.0 and I are gonna go through the trucks here a little. They got some awfully dirty air filters, so this one's just gonna get a new one. You see all this crud that accumulates underneath the dryer? The air filters in the trucks also pack with that same stuff. Morning, Digi. Your side front drive axle, the airbag, is leaking. On the feet? Yes. Driver side front yeah. drive axle. Yep. That pancake is starting to puke air out on the bottom side. Out of the rubber? Yeah. That one's clean. Good dog. And the Kenworth that actually needs a new filter is down at the field five miles away so so far I haven't been real productive out here this morning well now I get to do one of my favorite jobs here on the farm which is not sweep up the corn that was dribbling off the roof there but instead I gotta climb that bin again not to try to find the leak but to, to see how full it is there's a ring and three-quarter left in that bin Three quarter? A ring and three quarters. Okay, so. I can figure it out pretty close. We'll get this running and then I'll figure it out. Andy. We're going to transfer some dry corn out of the bin I just climbed into this end one. So we've got to open and close some gates because we got to go through the cross auger on top instead of using the air system for this bin. A little bit of corn spilled in this one already, which we knew. It should be good, except the sumps are all open. Okay. But the sweep's in the right spot and everything. Ah, overhead. You want to pull out of that 60 for a little bit then? Yeah, we sure can. 2.0 is going to climb that bin there. I'm going to climb this one here just to make sure there's nothing coming in that in the top. That cross auger has the ability to dump into all four of these. Well, obviously, we only want to go into one. Plus, these two bins have beans in them, and we're transferring corn, so we definitely don't want those mixed up. That bin is good. Okay, good. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Yeah. We just dumped this truck and took a sample of it. It's 16.1 and 16.3 moisture. So we're dumping it straight into that bin and going to put some air on it. That bin has big fans and it's the easiest one to get to straight from the pit. So it makes sense. Yep, 10-4, that's where I'm heading now. Okay, sounds good, I'll dump this one. Uh, fine, from Fort, did you shut the fuel off to the combine? I see it shut off and steps up, so either you or Nate must have done it if you didn't, huh? We got a tire on this truck that looked a little bit low, so I checked it, and it is. So my goal is to use this handy tool and an air compressor to make it so it's not. Time to go to work. Dad's gonna take my combine and I'll stay here and dump his trucks. Must be nice. Actually, he just enjoys running combine a lot and I don't hate it, but I would rather be the gopher. That, that probably makes me a little bit weird, but honestly, I'd rather be the guy running around putting out fires and dumping trucks. incoming on the truck from last night so this is one that was at the field that's pretty dry I'm guessing I'm just gonna run this straight into the bin as well Good 
Maybe I'll try and take another sample quick and it'll be drier. Nope, got a little wetter, 17.3. So I'm just gonna kind of pretend that I didn't see it and run it into that bin anyway. And there's beans in the cart from last night as well. Not beans, I hope not beans. Actually beans would be nice because they're worth a lot more but I'd be very confused. Off he goes to catch the combine. Gotta turn these big fans on to aerate the stuff we're putting in. Wait, that is on. Here we go. You guys see, I can't even grab it. This, that's electric wire. There's about 100 feet of it hanging on this. This is commonly used to keep livestock from running away. I'm a little worried about the neighbor's fences, so I'm gonna go check. I was wondering when you'd show up. Heard it start, didn't you? Where's your buddy? Well, you can't get in there because the broom's in your way? What was Onyx doing with a broom in the Ranger? Go, get in there. Yeah, no hurry, I'm not in a hurry. Your buddy's probably in the shop. She doesn't like the cold. The neighbor's got fence all along this south edge of this field, so I'm just gonna follow it along. I don't think he's got any cattle in there right now. At least if he does, it appears as though they're long gone. So I guess technically I would still be right. He wouldn't have any cattle in there right now. Ah, this is all laying down now. Uh, I don't see anything missing. And I can't say for sure that this wasn't laying down before. No, that seems pretty fresh. I did not see any sections missing or any holes bent over or anything, so it may or may not have been us that got into it. So I'll give them a call and at least let them know we might have. I got raindrops on the windshield here. It's a little bit moist today. I figured I'd swing by here and see how these guys are doing. Mostly for your guys' content's sake. Anna, look at it, it's a combine. Mm, cool. Oh, Didge is gonna be mad she didn't get to go with. I'm sorry, Didge. You snoozed. You losed. Next time. Now go apologize to your buddy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was gonna, I'm still gonna hop in this tractor and go mow a spot you'll see what it is but now it's sleeting like snow ice pellets that'll put a stop to harvesting real quick if it does that for very long <laughs> not gonna last long at this so there's this spot up here about half the years it's too wet but you can see where the grass goes from golden into much darker. Most of the time we plant crop in there and we get somewhat of a crop, but this spring was so wet we couldn't get in there. Well this fall, I realize this is ironic to say as it's raining, but this fall is really dry. So I'm gonna chop it up with the mower so that Jim can get in there with the ripper and till it up because then there's a lot better chance of us being able to farm it in the spring. done up there you think it's not gonna dry either even I mean even if it quits right now everything's gonna stay wet all day it's not supposed to rain much I think we can leave the equipment in the field up there oh good snowflakes the big ones I mean emotionally I'm ready for snow now that it's cold I may as well like I, I want to go snowmobiling but but not yet not yet Five to seven, if you don't get lost in the blizzard, that spot is cut. We'll see how the ripper works through that.
Now there's a meeting of the minds right there. We might be done for a while. We might be. Is Jim still going okay in the corn stock? Yeah, he looked like it. Okay, that'll probably go longer than anything else. I would imagine so. Five to seven, you got me? Yeah, can you hear me? I got you that time. What's it like up there? Can't be going too good for too much longer, can it? Okay, well, if you think it's going good, I guess keep going. Just um, remember to watch on those RTs so that the corn stalks don't build up inside the tracks. Yeah. I guess we'll see what the weather does. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. We'll kind of watch what's happening. But it, it could easily be done all day the way it looks right now. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs>